When you eat some chips, you better get them quick, and that's why you get them from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, and Quick Chips. I am Brandon, and that's Heal Will Mahoney. Snack Tom Pally and the Lay's Flavor Swap Tournament continues, and the Snack Society is still here, considering giving a beat down for ripping off championships. That's right. But hey, we'll be nice. We'll just play <laughs> along for now and participate in the flavor swap. Of course, mm. we told you last week when we looked at the Korean uh, barbecue and the habaneros that we were not going to compare them to the ones that they are being compared to. We're just going to tell you what we think about these. Yeah. These ones are what we have termed to be the frou-frou. Oh, bracket. yes. Yes. Getting West Coast flavors here, yeah. trying to be fancy New York City or something. Oh, I don't know. Soho and whatnot. Who, who's going out for potato chips and talking about Gouda? I don't know. I mean, I don't talk about Gouda very much anyway. <laughs> Me neither. The only time I've ever had Gouda, I think, is on one of those Wendy's things when they have like the Gouda bacon cheeseburger. You're right. I mean, consciously, anyway. I'm sure I've got some from a cheese plate somewhere at a party or something right. like that, but I've never, like, purchased Gouda. And so they have a smoked Gouda and chai flavor with a traditional Lay's cut. Okay. And then they have a wavy version, I believe. No, it's the kettle cooked. I'm sorry. Kettle cooked. Uh, Which olive, is usually a hit. Olive oil and herbs. Mmm. This one is for herb. Right. That's oh, right. oh, herb. Oh, herb. Oh, herb. Oh, herb. Oh, herb. Go get your yeah. degree at what? Guelph, is it called? <laughs> Something like that, yes. Yeah, so you, 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 yeah, where's the Guelph? Guelph, okay. Yes, Guelph, or whatever. <laughs> trying to how that Canadian pronunciation is. Inside jokes here going on, friends. All right. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so uh, let's try the cheesy ones first. Yes. They're probably less. Uh, and also, they're, they're the standard cut, they're yeah. not the kettle cooked. We have the one kettle cooked with the four in the lineup. Now, this is going up in the tourney against. Cheddar and sour cream. A traditional flavor, been around yeah. for years. And that's, I'm not a fan of sour cream, but cheddar and sour cream is the one sour cream flavor I can handle, I am totally fine with. Yeah, it's a pretty good flavor, generally. It, it mm. kind of like takes down the sharpness of the cheddar, usually. Yeah. It makes it just a nice, creamy, cheesy chip. Yeah, I can handle that, yeah. totally. Without a doubt. Now, okay. Smoke gouda and chai. This just looks like a like a, a onion chip, a sour cream and onion. It's yeah. Just, I don't see much cheese going on, but gouda is kind of a white cheese. It's a lot. Got like a yellowish tinge to it. But. Lots of chive fleckishness yes. going on on there. It's definitely delivering on that. Otherwise, it's just a standard kind of yellow a looking chip. Mild, cheesy smell. Yeah, no, I'm definitely getting some cheese. Not overpowering. Yeah. You know. Okay. Nothing I, smoked, though. I'm not getting smoked. No, that, that's in there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and check these out. Yes. Mmm. I feel like I've had these before. Very creamery. Yeah. Very creamery. It's, I would say, they're the cheddar and sour cream without the cheddar. Yeah, I'm going to say, it tastes like a muted version of the cheddar and sour yeah. cream. And it's missing the cheddar, which is what I like about those that make these palatable. Mm -hmm. These, I'm not digging. This is more of a sour cream chip, which I do not like. And they don't even mention sour cream in the description, nor do they show it on there. But yeah, I taste the sour cream thing going on. And I don't taste a bunch of chivishness. Mm -mm. That's a new word for you. Look it up. Chivishness. Mm. I don't taste a ton of that. Just mostly cheesy and sour creamy, but mostly mm -hmm. sour creamy. Yeah. With a hint of the chive, and that's two flavors I do not dig. So for me personally, of all the three that we've tasted so far, these are the weakest. I would take the Korean barbecue over these. I don't dig this flavor personally, but I could see people being into these. For me, though... Maybe a quarter. I don't like them. Mm. I don't need them ever again. I'll, I'll have this last one here. I'll give them a little bit better than that. In fact, I'll w, double you up and go half. Okay. Because I'll eat them if they're on a plate mm -hmm. and, you know, something like that. But I'm never going to buy them again. And finishing this bag is not something that interests me too much either. So, yeah, another so-so outing there by That's, the Lays. That one, the original, kill it. Yeah. The damn cheddar and sour cream, I dig a ton better than that. You think they actually put a couple of uh, jobbers in there, you know what I'm saying, for this thing? <laughs> Maybe. They, they can't all be winners. You know, they're like, yeah, we want, yeah. We, we really want to keep the cheddar and sour yeah. cream. I don't so, know. So we're going to put these ones out yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. An aftertaste on those. It's sticking around while we're here waiting to go on this next one. I'm not digging those at all. Yeah. No good. No good. Don't dig them either. Uh, moving on to the kettle cooked uh, olive and herbs, which are slated to take on the kettle cooked sea salt and cracked pepper. Okay. Uh, I think the sea salt and cracked pepper may now be available in a lattice chip. I know the Cape Cod makes one like that, but I think Lay's is doing it too. Um, wow, that's funky as soon as you open the bag. 
those original ones, I'm not sure if I've even ever had them. Wow. These are good. These smell awesome. This, these, smell this I could see working. These smell really good. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, very olive oil smell. They, yeah, they smell real oily, and they smell more like chives than those other things did. Yes. And they just say herbs. Yeah. They have the O herbs going on. Yeah. But they definitely have an olive oil scent. And they straight up, probably because, you know, it also helps with our kettle chip. Yeah. They have that greasy looking texture to them. Yep. But being our kettle chip, I think it's hard to mess up a kettle chip. I love me some kettle chips. I don't know. Personally. You want to eat them with that smoked gouda on it? No, no I do right, not. No, they haven't been gone there. No. This I could see working really well because the kettle chip will probably deliver kind of like on a bread and olive oil type of deal. Maybe a texture kind of like that. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Crunchity munchity. Do it. Mmm. Mmm. Flavor explosion. What? First word. Olive oil. That's two, but it's one because, my God, mm. that is the first flavor you get immediately with heavy crunch factor. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. And herbishness, man. Mm -hmm. Tons and tons of herbishness. You got some, maybe a little parsley in there. Mm -hmm. Definitely some chive. Um, th feeling like a spring <laughs> onion maybe in there. Um, hmm. Maybe a little sage. Yeah, these are oily. These are oily. I mean, these straight up taste. If you do the the olive oil and bread gimmick at an Italian restaurant, where you, they do the deal on the mm. plate and you dunk it, that's what these taste like. Mm. It's killing it. Mm. They're really oily. They're really flavorful. Flavor explosion. They're exactly what they say they are. Only drawback I can see is my God, these are gonna kill you if you keep eating them. Mm. They're delicious though. Definitely. Mm. Very oily. Don't mm -hmm. don't want to touch anything valuable after you eat yeah. these. And I can only um, imagine like the after effects of them because they're heavy. They're at, between the kettle and all the oil. They're a heavy chip. I don't think there's any Olestra in here. No, <laughs> oh, no. I hope they don't give the wows. No. Oh my god. I don't want to get a case of the wows. But they're delicious. Okay, so it mm. says that our our spices include basil, or mm -hmm. oregano, and thyme. Okay. So uh, I, I guessed wrong on all of them, but that's okay. Oregano. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, what kind of rating are we talking about here? Full thumbs up. The only drawback thing. I say on these is they're heavy. Yeah. And they're really oily. Yeah, really oily, but awesome I, taste. I mean, they're just flavorful, man. You can, like, not eat these with a dip mm -hmm. all day long, with, or you could eat them with a dip, yeah. and it would add flavor to the dip. That's and they're not, not hot, yeah. so they don't have the issue going on with it. I think the mm -hmm. problem with these is I could easily see eating the half a bag, three quarters of the bag, and regretting it so much later. And I think, well, even like right away almost, you sort of just kind of realize like yeah. halfway through the bag, you're yeah. like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. They're a heavy chip, but ooh, the flavor. That is the most flavor of any of these. These are endorsed heavily by the Snack Society. Yeah. Those in the habanero, I say, are the, are the, the front runners. Yeah. Followed by, the obviously, the Korean barbecue, which is... Definitely has its issues, and that's smoke gouda and chive. Bye bye. Yep. See you later. We don't need you around. That's right. Mm. I don't think so. Um, but what you do need is uh, to be part of the SAS group on Facebook with mm. so many of the coolest people in the whole world that are in our group. You should be too. Why aren't you, Big Bubba? No trouble. Mm. Also, uh, follow us on Twitter and the Instagrams at Brandon Wright SAS and at Heal Will Mahoney. That's right. Take those handles at Brandon Wright SAS at Heal Will Mahoney. Twitter, Instagram, no matter where you are in the social media universe, hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. Tell us what you think about the Flavor Swap Tourney. Tell us what you think about our champion chips. Tell us about chips in general. No matter where you do, tell us what you're thinking. And when you do that, you become a member of the Snack Society for Horsemen. That's right. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bam.